Mm. I've got a very special guest in the house. <clears throat> How are you doing? I'm doing good, thank you. You're looking very good. Thank um, you. Sorry, we're a few minutes um, late. I wanted to make sure, you know, we're having some sound issues. I don't know if you've joined us over the last few days. So I wanted to ensure that we didn't have those sound issues. So I was running some tests on the phone because I don't want to interrupt you. You don't know whose life you're going to change today, Wilfred. Somebody's is going to change you and is going to move from the village to Scrum Master. <laughs> Just like you did. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, a very brilliant guy with us. Someone who got a scholarship to study abroad and eventually became a pilot, but found a path towards wealth creation, pursued the path, and is here tonight to share that path with you. Don't come here and crack jokes. Don't come here and catch crews. Life is beyond that. Within the next one hour, your life could change. But also within the next one hour, your life could remain the same. It's all up to you. You are sitting down in Nigeria crying, moaning and groaning. Eh? Chief moaners and groaners. People abroad who lost their relatives should hire you to come and help them mourn. Because you are very good at mourning. Any small thing, the government is bad. The government is bad. The government is bad. Which country has good government right now? Oh, yes, they will say no country can compare to Nigeria. But, well, there are people in Nigeria who are earning dollars in this economy. And let me tell you the beautiful thing. When you earn dollars in this economy, you, don't, you are immune to any financial transgression this country decides to embark upon. Because you are not calculating your pocket according to the value of the naira. You are calculating your pocket according to the value of the dollar. So let me imagine you earned, two years ago, you were earning $1,000 a month. Your salary would have been 350,000 naira. Last year, dollar was 590 naira. Your salary automatically would have changed to 590,000 naira. Today, dollar is 750 naira. Your salary automatically becomes 750,000 naira. But you're earning the same $1,000. And what Wilfred is about to teach you can generate you foreign revenue in Nigeria if you're willing to go through the rigorous steps of working hard. You see, they say the poorest person on earth is that person who cannot pay attention. As long as you can afford to pay attention, you're already wealthy. Because it is attention somebody paid when they were running during a riot in the U.S. and he saw Bitcoin at the back of somebody's uh, T-shirt and said, what is that? And the guy was like, Bitcoin, buy some. At that time, Bitcoin was $1 mm -hmm. to one. The guy, by the time he was 21, became a billionaire, sorry, a millionaire in U.S. dollars. How many Bitcoins did he buy? $1,000 worth of it. He paid attention while running. You are sitting down with your phone. That your phone that is more expensive than your house rent. Some of you, your phone is more expensive than your destiny. Instead of you to sit down and pay attention, you'll be looking for where to catch crew. No wonder poverty has gummed your destiny like a leech gumming somebody who put his leg inside mud water. Some of you, your brain and tanwiji, you know what tanwiji is? Mosquito lava. Your brain and Tanwiji Lava brain are competing for which one is more powerful. Instead of you to sit down and listen, you'll be catching crews. You'll be chasing girls. Let me tell you, these girls you are chasing inside my comment session, they will follow Scrum Masters. Because by the time they go and cry and meet the Scrum Master, they want to buy 500,000 Naira hair and the Scrum Master gives them. You that are catching crews, catching crews cannot pay bills. Unless you are like Daddy Freeze that uses catching crews to pay bills. So if you knew what was good for you, you will pay attention. So many lives have changed. Uh, Wilfred Asukwa has been here. This is your fourth time or the third time? The fifth time. The fifth time? Yes. I've paid, hey. I've paid three times. The first, one, the first two was free. Yes, uh -huh. now your money for my bank account. Now the calculator, I don't reach five. You never reach five. 
the first time <laughs> that you freeze, you, I mean, you just so, send me so, casual, but I ladies don't and yeah. ladies and gentlemen, I can't yeah. uh -huh. let us hear your voice very loud. I'm going to mute my mic so that all they hear is you. I just wanted them to understand what they stand the chance of gaining today. Some of us are not crying like some of you. Some of us are not crying. Yeah, we're not feeling it. No, no, you, Do you understand. Absolutely. Join us. Then. Do you understand? I went to fix my tire today. I had to buy four run flat tires. Each one was to two hundred thousand. That so is wasn't the check that we sent took care of that. It would, of course that will take care of it. And then change so the remain. I was there, they hear me while I was there. Mm. One guy with twenty twenty two G wagon, the rim bent. Ah, so he brought it to the they brought it to the same tire place on mm -hmm. in Victoria Island. So the the rim of the G wagon. You know what they say? Rim of G wagon. One is like two thousand dollars. Just rim. Yes, the rim. So the guy was there moaning and groaning about the state of Lekki Ekpe Expressway. He now said something. He said, when we're paying toll gates, they were maintaining the road. Now, so one guy there, we one pump down for tire. So mm. you're waiting in the talk. Should they, should they now be making us pay to 200,000? I looked at the guy. I said, bros, it's not like what he's saying. I cannot relate with it. Because part of the reason why I'm here to change tires is because of the portals on that same road. To me and to him, 200 naira a pop when we are passing toll gate is nothing. But I right. understand the situation. For you, where they drive down for 200 naira is a lot. Sometimes, eh, people like you, your mates, you can understand that because that $2,000, he will never spend it on paying toll gates. That $2,000 mm. he wants to spend to buy a ring. He will never right. spend thousand dollar one million naira. How many times do you want to pass two hundred naira to get that you spend one million naira? Like two years of passing every day. That's but you right. see another person own the tire for the motor now two hundred naira. The motor self now fifty thousand naira, hundred thousand naira. The whole yeah. motor. Mm -hmm. They will be feeling a kind of pain that you will not understand. Listen, anybody that is earning proper foreign currency in nigeria today does not see that the price of bread has gone to one thousand naira they don't feel it because it's two thousand dollars when i started this show let me give you an example when i started this show i was charging a million naira for interviews one million naira was about two thousand mm. dollars today two thousand dollars is 1.5 million naira mm -hmm. and two, one million is about yeah and about one, one million, million is one thousand four hundred dollars Mm -hmm. Because I still had a client that paid me in dollars for the one million naira equivalent. I was holding it like this. I nearly started crying. That's right. So what I'm that, trying to say, in mean, essence, is that the freeze. You are even saying much. You know that cost I advertised the last time for thirty-five thousand naira qualitative analysis. Yeah. Those kids that are teaching those courses, they are my mentees. They make well over. When I say well over. They make well over four to five thousand dollars a month, True. and the ones that attended August diet, it's not like I didn't make a dime from the class. They're already making like a thousand dollars. So, ending in dollars will suppress your um, what do you call it, inflation rates. So that's the best thing that can ever happen. <laughs> that is it. God bless you. God, God knew why He used you to create this platform that time, so that some of us will come <laughs> benefit from it. So Let me had... tell you something that you people don't understand. Eh? Mm -hmm. When you live in Nigeria and you earn in foreign currencies, you are better off than when you live in America and earn in foreign currencies. I agree with you, that it is. But for you security, see, if you live in America, I, I there. but for security, that... I will come and stay there. You wouldn't know now. Yeah. I can come Only and rent out of the security. I can come and rent the well, so you... Imagine. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you earn in dollars. You are better off than a Canadian. Any are you Canadian telling me that if, is, if if I was living in VI and I roll in fifty k a month, they will elect you mayor. I'm serious.
serious because any I decision you pay for you see any it, decision oh. governor Sonwolu wants to take you we call you first say will friend <laughs> please i want to i want to tie one road which one road? so ladies I'm and gentlemen spoken enough let me officially hand you over to the scrum master himself who a short while ago was just like you a village boy yeah today He's a global citizen earning global currencies. Mm -hmm. You could upgrade your life or you could remain the same. The choice is yours. Ladies and gentlemen, Wilfred Asukwa, over to you. Thank you so very much, I'm Daddy Fries. As ever, I must appreciate you and your platform. God bless the day you started this journey to set up this platform for people like us to benefit um, from your well of experience. And I'm not trying to blow your head off, but listen, we don't have too many celebrities who are as smart as you are. We don't have so many celebrities who are having original content, original followers like you. So if I will sit down and be dishing my 1 million, I know I'm dishing it out for good. I have to pay for it because you've worked to earn it. And this thing is chop by chop. As you chop, we also chop from it, you know. So thank you so much. And like I always said, if you are following Daddy Freeze and you do not understand exactly who he is, he has all it takes to go and walk in Baba Baba Lofe, I mean Baba Baba Lola University as a non teaching staff. Or he has a choice to go and walk in his daddy's hospital as one of the staff there or something. But guess what? He chose not to. He created a niche for himself. He was an analog journalist. And after some time, he transcended to the digital analyst. I mean, how else can you benefit from his well of knowledge? Speak of any subject he's there to talk to you about. He's there to engage you one-on-one. -on -one. So once again, thank you so much for this privilege. For those of you that don't know me, I am a village boy favored by my creator. My name is Wilfred Asoko, and I am the founder of Zit Worldwide, a virtual coaching platform. I am also a certified John Maxwell coach. I am also a trainer and a public speaker. Now, as an agile coach, helping companies to transcend or transition from um, waterfall to agile you know, framework, helping them attend business agility, I find pleasure not just supporting companies, but also supporting individuals. No wonder after working as a business, ana business and data analyst for over four years and done several work with some companies, I see myself more of an IT consultant. But long before now, I came to the US to train as a pilot. So as an FAA trained pilot, whom my governor, my ex-governor of my state, Akpabi, sent me to the U.S. to train. I found a niche, uh, I found a reason to return back to study healthcare informatics. I had launched me into this space of the health IT and subsequently IT at large. So as a trainer, I trained many certified professionals in their hundreds from different countries, both Americans, Jamaicans, Asians, Nigerians, Africans, it's not just one. I have about 26 certifications. So if you want to catch crews by running me down, do understand you can go on my LinkedIn and profile me very well. So I train business analysts, scrum masters, product managers, release train engineers, product owners, name them. Data analysts, name them. So I am a certified coach and I talk for a living. I don't just talk because I want to talk. I talk to earn and then impact you positively. To all my viewers watching me right now, during my last appearance here with Daddy Freeze, I was labeled several names that was not necessary. But listen, I am not moved by what you think. I am moved by the impact that I leave out there. To my viewers and spectators, not because they were ignorant of what they were saying, but because there is a massive gap in our social media ecosystem. By that, what do I mean? In our ecosystem, you hardly see capacity building. You hardly see 
trainings, you hardly see knowledge impartation. What you see is more of what? Entertainment. What you see is more of what? You see people dancing. You see people, you barely would not see some of the educational subjects or topics like Daddy Fritz is doing. How many celebrities that would you see doing what he is doing? You don't really see them. How would your children out there learn coding? How would your children out there learn the technological advancement that is happening around the globe? How would your child know about IT? How would your child know about several certifications? Now, listen, if you have a first degree, you are as useless as being in your village. What will stand you out is when you specialized, get some certifications to stand you out. Are you an accountant? You're having just ICANN? You are just going to rotten in Nigeria and get, getting paid 180000 that barely is not up to $100. But if you take CPA, you know what that means? You'll be global. Think about it. So most of this information, it is only the rich that were informed, that, that got hold of this information. But guess what? When you have an informed coach who will expose you, several coaches that will expose you to most of these opportunities, why wouldn't you make a difference? Undoubtedly, a lot has transcended over the years. Like I said, that if it was in the analog world in journalism, but with the advent of digital world, it transcended into the digital space. Have you transcended? You are still where you were. You went to IFE, you went to UI, you went to Unilac, you had analog degree. Isn't it time that you transition it into digital degree? What are you waiting for? That's what my company, Zit Worldwide, is pushing out there. What you are interested in is the quick money. You want to make 30% return of investment. No, your IQ is low. That is why you will push your 30% investment or 25% investment. No. Nobody offers 30% investment. It's because your IQ is low. What you should do is this. Increase your capacity by seeking to add value to your credentials. Secure a high earnings. For example, if you train on one certification, for example, qualitative analysis, you monetize it. Within one month, you'll be making like $1,000. I don't even teach it. I only have people that teach it. I don't make money from it because it's just 35,000 Naira. So when you spend 35,000 Naira and you start making $1,000 from the comfort of your home, before you know it, you are making 2,000. Why would you work for somebody? At that point, how are you going to invest $1,000 to somebody looking for 30% return of investment? Who offers that? Which bank offers 30%? If you see one bank, call me, I'll put 20,000 Naira, I mean 20,000, 20 million that same day. If you see one, call me. Any bank that is offering 30% to interest rate, call me, I'll put 20 million there that same day. They don't exist. So what should be your focus? Your focus should be, how do I increase my capacity? How do I increase where I am? What pains me most is when you sit down and begin to complain. Oh, I didn't do computer. Oh, I didn't do computer in school. I don't understand. Where do I start from? When you started Pekusin, did someone teach you? Did someone have to point you where and how to start Pekusin around? Now, when it gets to you, acquiring knowledge that will change your career, that will put money in your pocket, you begin to ask questions and finding excuses. Please, it is not a time for that anymore. Move away from that narrative. Shit. You don't have to do the IT classes that I'm teaching. But trust me, there are several that I'm teaching. Currently, I'm teaching business analysis. It's been running for the last 20 something days. It's going to end today. I mean, it's going to end this Friday. It's about 21 days. People pay $250. And I'm going to teach them how to monetize it, how to get it on their resume, how to set up and monetize and optimize their LinkedIn, how to, you know, use it to acquire new skills, even get a job across the Atlantic. If what you are doing today cannot earn you a living across the Atlantic, then you are wasting time.
Now the priest is telling you that he lives in Lagos. See, we are paying, we are paying to his account from here in dollars. If what you are doing currently, wherever you are, cannot earn you hard currency, dollars, you need to consult your village people. Oh. Because even as I am in America, 43 countries, I have clients from 43 countries that are patronizing me. Not one, not two, not three, not ten. 43 wow. countries. And I get referrals consistently. That is reason I didn't come to you like over the last three weeks because the last two times I came, the traffic were still hunting me. Hmm. For three countries. Why? Because when you talk about capacity building, you can't overemphasize it. You can't. Let me echo it again. Zit Worldwide has come to stay. It is a virtual coaching platform and our services are primarily serving many young professionals around the world on how to optimize their expected outcome. We offer coaching, mentorship, and trainings. And we currently, like I said, we have clients from about 43 countries around the world are still counting. Now, let me list out some of the you know, services that we offer that are very affordable. I might be a little bit biased because I am a Nigerian. I tested poverty. I left my parents at 15. I see so far. You understand? I see so far where we're. So I cannot but be sensitive and emotional to the fact that the people back home who need this support really, really need that support to the latest. I offer 90 minute sessions for $500. I live in a capitalist country. So the people that are not living in Africa or in Nigeria, they can afford that. But you see, if you are seeking for like scholarship, if you are seeking to transcend, you want me to coach you or any of our coaches on the platform to support you to transcend from one career to the other, that is going to be a one-time payment for a certain period of time. We have to discuss that. We sign our terms and conditions. Now, if you're looking for a free session, for example, it's a thousand dollars, especially people that are living outside Africa in this country. Coaching is being charged hourly. It's not something that is, it's hourly. But we try to work around with the population that we are serving. We also have group coaching. I have several groups. There are groups that have been running for over four years now. People don't know about it. In that group, it's 25,000 Naira a month or $50 a month. People are in that group. We have live sessions from several coaches, from relationship, um, leadership, um, um, career, soft skills, several. Again, it's not really something that is common since it's not religious, re religiously connected. You know what I mean? Then you are looking at another high class or high level um, group where you only have specified career professionals. And those are like scrum masters, project managers, product owners, product managers. You have um, business analysts. You have release chain engineers in that group. Some people have gotten job. They are still there to support other people, holding their hands to also stand. At Zit Worldwide, like I said, we offer trainings. We offer certifications trainings. I teach safe. I teach safe because I use that same safe as safe program consultant, a coach to work for my company. I coach about 12 teams where I work. The same thing that I'm doing at work and getting the people that I'm working with certified, I do it outside. I teach safe scrum master, safe product owner, leading safe, safe release train engineer, safe portfolio, safe product owner and product manager. This, these are standard certifications that can change your life. It can change your life. For example, I always say it. If an average woman, married woman, single mothers, if you become a scrum master, the money when you go collect, sitting at home, you will, say, you will come back and tell me thank you. You will tell me, Fred, God bless you for introducing me to this space. But here is the caveat. Because you took a Scrum Master Certification class doesn't mean you're going to make 120000 overnight. There are more to it than that. And that's why we provide coaching. You pay for the time, you get coached. 
there are other certifications that or other trainings that you need to do. For example, the working tools like Jira, like Confluence, like Trello, like SharePoint. Some of you don't know what Outlook is. That time that you're using to catch crews on social media, why don't you use that time and increase your capacity? Go to udemy.com and learn most of those tools. What you're going to get from us is just an intro. Some of us don't want to read. Africans don't read. That is just a problem. If you don't read, you don't know. Think, just think for a moment. I left my parents at 15 in the village. I didn't get here overnight. I went to school in Ekiti, Polytechnic for that matter. At Jepako School, though, the school when I go here, when I was in that school, a fair Baba Lola's um, site was an open ground. It was an open space. Afe Babalola was the chairman of the governing council at the time. Our school, no day internet that time. When I go for that polytechnic, I do a kitty. But you see, that HND I got from that school has transformed my life. I did not do no PGDO. I went straight into the university here in the US to do my master's after I finished my pilot training. Constant reading. Thank God for Ekiti people and then teach me how to read that they freeze. When it comes to reading, give it to me. That's my strength. That's why I can boast of 26 certifications today. But so so when I look at it. Did you say 26? I've said it before, I have 26. Wow. 26. Yes. So because I use those tools to work, that's why I can train it to other people. I have 26 certifications. If you add it up with my pilot licenses and all that. Why not? Why would I keep it to myself? Now, I tell you guys another thing. I, after I've been in the US for 14, 15 years now, of all the things I have found out, can't I share? Why must I keep quiet? Something that is putting boom on my, on my, inside my pocket. Why should I be quiet? So if I'm shouting, don't get me wrong. I have people who are still living in the obsolete narrative. They believe everybody out there it's a scam. That's fine. Out of 10, one or two will still accuse me as a scam. That's fine. I, I, can, I can appreciate that. But it doesn't change the fact that those that are getting the impact are getting impact. And that leads me to the next subject. I offer free trainings. All these things that I'm talking about, too, I still offer them for free. October 31st of this month, which is the coming week, is 31st. I'm offering this same safe scrum master for free come and learn come and learn all you need to do is this visit my website www.zitworldwide.com come and attend that class for free if it's something that you feel good about it you can choose to get the certification that's it if you don't move on there are other classes inside zit that are free what is the goal is to help increase your capacity, open your understanding. Now, I don't just teach because I'm not just a teacher. I'm not just a trainer. I'm also a coach. I'm going to, to coach you. Inside that class, I will show you how to optimize your resume. I will show you how to optimize your LinkedIn. That is free. You see young Nigerians, they are looking for a job, but they don't have an optimized LinkedIn account. You ask them to send you their resume. It looks like a crap. How can you be putting date of birth in your resume in 2022? You are putting your religion inside your resume 2022. Who cares? You are put, telling us if you are married or not. Who cares to know in 2022? And that's the same resume you want to send across the Atlantic. Wake up. Those are what we help young people to get up to speed. Those are what we help young people to get delivered from their old set of ways. See, I am very passionate about coaching young people. And many wonder why I am so passionate about being in such an area and um, space of life. Here is why, if you must know. Because I left my parents at 15, I have not returned back home. More. I left the village since. I have not gone back there. I left there for Lagos. After I got to Lagos, I saw all the challenges. I went to Ekiti to school. From Ekiti, I went to Ebony to do NYSE. I came back to Lagos. I weathered the hustle of Lagos 
very well and i made some good money in that same lagos legitimately before i came to the, to the us to train as a pilot now with this well of experience of mine why don't i lead other young people not to make the same mistakes i made in life that was why i had to go to john maxwell to get trained professionally to be a coach and that's why i will call it worldwide home of coaches home of coaches so now we don't just want to coach all all our coaches are working they are working they are professionals from dr baba Gide milton who is a lecturer at futa he studied in london his masters and his phd to dr um Kelechuku, who is working with um mm -hmm. Pro protract and gamble in um germany to dr uh, baba tunde Ogini, who is a research scientist in Connecticut, to Dr. Um, Aino, who is in Canada, and um, Engineer Manuel, who works with LNG. All of them are professionals, and they can relate with you, meet you at the point of your uh, you know, concerns, and hold you by hand and you walk. It is not a church, oh. we do not offer fasting and prayers here. Oh. Uh -huh. You don't go to mountain, oh. come with your brain and walk. Come with your brain cells. There is no magic here. Some of you will pay us to help you to secure scholarship in North America. One paid for the daughter in, in March. After coaching the daughter, there was nothing like, um, uh, what do you call it? Admission session did not open yet. Application session for spring or for fall did not open yet. She's already sending message and say, oh, the stakes are high. You, uh, you have to deliver. Uh, what, I'm like, seriously, have you spoken to your daughter? All the trend of events that has happened, I've received so many blessings from the daughter, only for her to be asking for a refund in October. Meanwhile, we've been coaching things. And how much is they asking for? $135, which is 100,000 naira. I did not waste time but to send it back because sometimes it's frustration. Sometimes it's hormones. So I wasn't going to be arguing. What, what is that telling you? Don't come with a magical mindset. Don't come with a mindset of, I want it now, now. That is why people that will offer you 30% return of investment will always scam you. That is why your pastors will scam you. Because they will take advantage of your vulnerability. When you are coming to Z, come with your brain cells. We have a roadmap. We focus on process. If you go and meet Dr. Kelechuku, he will tell you it's a process. You want scholarship in Europe to grad school, you need to go through a process. You want scholarship in North America, you need to go through a process. Several, several individuals, over 40 that have supported to come to the U.S. into grad school who are fully funded, they went through a process. If you're not ready to go through the process, please don't come. We don't need you. Daddy Freeze, come on. If we charge you 250,000 Naira for a period of a session, let's say you start now. Now, the window of admission is open. It's starting, it started, that's, that's for fall 2023. It's starting this month. First come, first serve. So between now and let's say February ending, you're supposed to know your fate. If you've gotten admission and scholarship or not. It is only the strong that gets it. It's not meant hmm. for people. So you now come. Instead of you to gather what you're supposed to gather, you are sitting down, and I've sat you down, I've walked you through everything you are supposed to do. Imagine the mother of that, my client. She felt like I'm supposed to be having Zoom session with the daughter every day. To do what? The daughter, I need to call, and guess what? When I'm coaching, I'm the one calling her, and I don't call social media. I make direct calls straight up. That is, you know, if I want to call you, I call you directly. And I've been calling to keep up with the expectations and the things he needs to do. Coaching could either be face-to-face, -face, it could be on Zoom, it could be on a call, it could be on a chat. Listen, mm -hmm. my time is money. So if you chat me and I don't respond to you, then you have a problem. But I can tell you confidently, the coaches on our platform, even those of you that are dealing with Shewu and in Yoloa, they will answer you immediately. When you pay for the service, you must get the service. 
So mm. if you now come with a mindset of overnight success, please, Z is not for you. Mindset, go to your church and meet your reverence and your pastor who will give you what God cannot do cannot exist. Go there. What God cannot do exists. So God cannot lie. <laughs> if you know you are looking for overnight success, go to your pastor to send you to Orioke. Don't come to Zid. Zid will increase capacity. Mm -hmm. When your capacity is increased, it's difficult for you to be scammed. When your capacity is increased, it is difficult for you to be depressed. Because what happens is that your subconscious mind, which is 95% of your entire mind, is, is capacity loaded so much that you, your body will be vibrated towards getting busy. But when your subconscious mind is empty, that is when your pastor, your religious leaders, your GOs, will begin to find something to manipulate you. And they will tell you, it is God. It is God. You are falling for it. You see, that's why a lot of you don't like Daddy Fries. Because Daddy Fries won't ask you for offering. He will not ask you for tithes. He preaches. If you want to come to his channel, he, he, he's a businessman. That's why I love him. He keeps it straight. Some of your geo, when they set up the church since, after they set it up, they now went again to open another business. The same people that contributed that and offering are the same people that are going to pay for that business. After the business have established, they now relocated their family to Yankee. And yet, you are still paying into their ministry. Why are you on the losing end all the time? All the time. It's time for you to focus on yourself. Spend that dollar, spend that your little naira on yourself and increase your capacity. I'm Amen. not here to run down your pastors. I'm not here to run down your geo. It is just the right time for you to change your narrative. See, there are so many things you can do. As it, I introduce my mentees to so many things. We have live sessions every Friday. What do we do? We expose them to many opportunities. When I discover Inoloa and Shewu, and I discover what they could do, I created a platform for them to make money. From Zeke alone, last, the last class, they made over 1.4 million. Not a dime came to my pocket. I didn't take a dime from them. You know why? People that attended um, Release Trade Engineer for the last three days, one class of that class is $1,650 that is freeze. $1,650, originally the price is $2,400, but I offered it for $1,650. That money is more than the money those kids made from teaching qualitative analysis. Why should I take out of their money? But guess what? Because they are in Nigeria, they are balling. That's money they mm. made for how many? Only four weekends. If you sum up all the hours that they spent, I'm not sure it's up to 20 hours. Have you made one point something million in 20 hours? No. Mm. Focus on yourself and increase your capacity, folks. I don't mind paying that it frees one million every month to come here and shout it. Even if you don't come to my <coughs> ZIT to come and subscribe and learn, come and learn for free. I will feel blessed regardless. Hmm. Those that value what I am teaching or what we are offering, they will pay. But you that you love free things, come and learn for free. But always remember, when you don't pay for people's services, yours, when you open your own, people will not pay. True. What goes around comes around. Daddy Freeze has been my friend since 2012. I can't say because I've known Daddy Freeze since, 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 since 2012. Now that I'm coming to discuss Zid, I should be coming to tell him that the fees are back and uh, let me come for free for you. No, I have to patronize and pay for the service. Mm. It cost me a fortune. Or oh, someone mm. says I am sounding rude. That's fine. It is only when you have something to say, that is when it is rude. It is only when what we are saying does not resonate with you with your narrative, that's when it is root. You see, that is why we love Daddy Freeze, because when he says it the way it is, Daddy Freeze is root. So he himself, he has accepted that he's root. 
But the more he is rude, the more we are paying to come on his rude channel. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. So I love him when he is rude. Because when he's speaking the truth, he's explaining the truth, that is when we love him more and we come to pay for his brand. Everybody out there cannot be manipulated and be speaking what will make you feel good. No. Somebody must be there to actually send the message to get you started, to get you mm -hmm. thinking. Okay? That is the way it is. So here at Z, we are here to offer you capacity building to hold you up and running. You can come to my friend's channel and learn the word, undiluted word. He's not going to ask you for offering. He's not going to ask you for tithes. When you finish, Come to Z. Let's cut soap for you. So that while you are in Nigeria, you can get a job outside of the country. At Z, we help many people in Nigeria to get jobs across the country. I have brought those my mentees who got jobs outside of the country to Common Sense with Freddie. One is holding this weekend on Saturday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time Zone and 4 p.m. West African Time Zone. What am I going to be talking about this weekend? Career transition. It holds every last Friday of every month. It's been running for over three years. What do I do? I bring up subjects that will help you increase and scale. Some of you are doing a particular career or you're in a particular career that barely can pay your bills. What you are making is not up to $100. It's not up to $100. And you, you are whining. And when someone is telling you, okay, it's time for you to move from here to that place, you begin to fidget. You begin to get scared. You begin to have this fear of unknown. How do you conquer that? That's what I want you to come on Saturday and share. I mean, you, people will share their life experiences. I spend my time for free to coach you. It's coaching. It's not church. It's coaching. It's something you have online. Go to www.zit worldwide. You will see it. Come on, go to events. You will see all the events that we have, all the trainings, all the capacity building. You will see it there. It's free. I don't ask for money. There are some that are free. There are some that you have to pay for. Those ones that you have to pay for are those ones that you actually gain certification. And guess what? Those certifications, no be me get them. I'm just a village boy who came from my village to come and learn. And then I'm able to also be a trainer. If you need the certification and the license, you got to pay for it. It's mm. standard. If you go to the website of the real certification website, it is the same amount. I'm only a trainer. It's not my certification. Mm. So you want to transition from engineering to IT. You are still lost. You are still confused. Let's have a conversation as a group. If you can't pay me, come there. Let's have a conversation. Last month, I spoke about how to secure scholarship. I I, everybody came. Almost 60 or 70 people were there. I walked them through line by line. If you can't afford me one-on-one, -on -one, I am offering these services for free. Listen, you can't see two of these services online. You know why? You can only offer what you have, what you can do. You can only offer what you can do. So if I said I know these things, I have knowledge about it. Come and learn for free. Mm. Come and learn for free. Someone says it's sounding like God. No, because I'm not sounding like your pastor. That is why it's be like say, I'm sounding like God. See, God made us small gods. So we are small gods. So we have to sound confidently about what we know or what we can do. So mm. if I'm asking you to come and learn for free, how am I sounding like God? Do? Come and learn for free. If I told you to come and pay kus for free, you will jump. But because I can't tell you to come and pay kus, that is why it sounds like I am God. I am not God. I'm using the power and the wisdom that he has vested in me to be able to acquire the knowledge and then to be able to impact. Okay? No, the, those comments just jump on my eyes, so I have to make a comment about it. So it is great. Yeah, no, it is great. If it jumps on my eyes, I need to give it back to the person the way it comes, politely. We are mm. not, I, am not dis, I am not disrespecting anybody. 
So I understand how these things work. I understand how it works. When it doesn't suit your current narrative that is putting you in a stagnant position, it becomes very awkward in your ears. When you don't have to come and fast and pray and sit down and expect 24 hours miracle, it becomes awkward. It becomes like he's, he, he is so proud. That's fine. But these are the same. So do you really prefer to come in people's inboxes and do what? And be begging? Why do you have to go through that when you can actually sit down and learn most of these skills? That is this. Most of these skills are all on YouTube for free. But a lot of them will still expect that you should come and be sitting down and be showing them Excel. Basic Excel, you don't know. And you can't go on YouTube to go and learn it. To go and learn it. Basic Excel. Basic. is basic. You say you have first degree. You cannot use basic Excel, basic Microsoft Word, basic everything. I see somebody who went to my LinkedIn account to go and copy my um, profile and put it up here. God bless you. Who is that person? No. God bless you. Hmm. I'm not making noise. Go to my LinkedIn profile. That's where my home is. That's my primary social media platform. Go there and profile me. I have been around consistently for the last four or five years. That's my primary social media platform. Daddy Fris brought me to this place. Is Daddy Friso? Uh -huh. Is Daddy Friso? You guys should thank him. Is Daddy Fris that brought me to this place? So I like you to consider, reconsider your set way of thinking. Move away from depending on people to increasing your capacity to depend on yourself. When I say that, somebody will say, "Oh, I am displacing where God is." I am not displacing where the power of God is. God gave you the mind, which is the greatest asset in the world to helping yourself. So when you replace it by chasing clouds, chasing people around, looking for miracle, bring a special seed, God will multiply it double tomorrow. Who that won't help? Hmm. I'm sorry to say it. Traveling out is not a testimony in Christian Domo. It's not. If you ask me, it's actually a cost. Why would I give my life to Christ in Nigeria and I'm coming to America to look for greener pastures? Yes. Why? Because if somebody was sharing this kind of information that I'm sharing out here, a lot of us would have been back home building and developing our society. But since we have found most of these resources around, why not share it? Why not share it? I encourage you as you're listening to me, take a bold step. Move away from your current narrative and make a step to build yourself. Increase your capacity. Learn new skills. What is selling right now is the digital space. When you hear of digital space, it's IT. A lot of nurses are my clients. They are combining it as a second way of doing things. A nurse that has been working for years, now they are IT gurus. They are becoming clinical analysts. They are becoming business analysts. They are working from home. Why? Because they are mothers and they are wives. Mm. They have children. How beautiful it is to be sitting down in this chair from morning till night. This is where I sit. I don't go anywhere. I don't go anywhere. Okay, so I mean, I'm talking about church because when it is not church, nobody's going to pay attention to you. Absolutely. When it's, not church, when it's not church, when I'm not coming here to be casting and binding, stretch your hands to the screen, they will think you are not saying what you're supposed to say. So move away from chasing religious system. It's a system. You have different, 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 different system. When that refuse to tell you to come here and listen to the undiluted, it doesn't cost you anything. Just sit on your phone and listen to the truth. He gives you facts and truth. You don't pay tight. You don't pay offering. He's a bad guy. Until you go to the, the building, 
They call it building. I wish when you go there, they teach you capacity building at the same time. Hmm. Now, that if Fritz is a journalist, he has a handwork. What handwork do you have that is hmm. put on your table? That if Fritz is, is, I mean, he's a journalist, a seasoned journalist. He has worked as a journalist and retired. So what exactly can you do for yourself? Ask them who. So if I'm coming to tell you that you should increase your capacity, shift away a little bit from chasing religious systems. Focus on what? Increasing your capacity. Don't you think it is the best advice anybody can help you? Well, the real, the real yans go to events. The, the training is not for everybody. There are ones that are free. You can take it. I know you love free stuff. Go and grab the free ones and take advantage of it. The rest, it's a business. It's not free for everything, okay? That website, now person, the maintainer, would they pay? Even as I come down the free show, as you take see me here, they talk to you. I had to pay for this time. That is how business thrives. Mm. That the streets need to eat. He need to service his staff to make this work. So yes. when you come with that mindset, you want everything free, 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 free. Why won't your religious leader use your head? Mm. When you have a mindset of patronizing businesses, and for you to be able to patronize a business, you need to have the liquid power. And the only way you can have it is when you work. And for you to work, you need to provide services or goods. And if you cannot provide services or goods, you don't deserve to make money. That is mm. when you become a scammer. What part of the state am I living? I live close to D.C., White House, 15 minutes away from White House, where the big boys are living. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you want to know where I'm living, I'm living 15 minutes away from the White House. Not everybody can afford the location I live. <laughs> Somebody says, Stop being rude, just share info and stop being rude. Well, it is you that feels it is being rude because that is how you feel on your insights. When it is the bitter truth, it is nothing but the but rudeness. I love being rude, as a matter of fact, by always telling the truth. I'm so sorry if you are feeling that way. Okay? So, it, 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 it's beyond advertisement, sweetheart. Being an agile coach, check it online. When someone says, I'm an agile coach, what do you think it means? Google it. How much is, how much do they pay an agile coach? Go and check. Go and check. I, I don't like calling the numbers. Just go and Google it. How Look much? at this. Look at this brain dead uh, says, mosquito lava here. Chibuke. He says, dash us money. Uh, well, I mean, why I don't mean, you just hold a can and stand on the road and bang on people's windscreen so they can dash you money? <laughs> I like me. <laughs> oh my god. So, I mean, ambassador. Just Google it. Agile coach. Just Google it. I don't like calling numbers. The other time I was watching Daddy Freeze, the young man that drives trucks. Daddy Freeze asked him, so how much do you make in an average? If Daddy Freeze had to ask me such a question, I would dodge it because it would look like I am making noise. Google it. How much do agile coach make? <laughs> hmm. Yes. In America. Okay. So I can't be seeing such and then i'm coming to be rude i'm only asking that allow me to teach you what i teach or you go at work outside that's all i'm asking at little little cost unfortunately i live in america we charge in dollars so it's not meant for everybody however if you are in nigeria take for example um scrum master is 600 dollars if you are in nigeria you are paying from nigeria i will let you pay 500 dollars because you are in Nigeria, safe Scrum Master is not $500. I'm taking a pay cut to support, you know, people that wants to grow. Okay. Um, 
Come on, CSM 100K. Let alone Agilis. Okay. A lot of you, you know what I'm talking about. And um, Karen says 142,000 per year. That's a peanut. If you if you offer me one 142k per year, I won't take it. Ask those who are in my community group. All the interviews I did, even the last offer that I got, the letter I I put it in there. I it wasn't even 152. The last offer I got was 165. I'm not making noise about it. So if you want to become an agile coach, you know what you are meeting. As in, you are meeting some good career <laughs> cash over, over there. Okay? So, and that's that's low. I mean, <clears throat> dear Abyss, you know now, that's low. You're talking of 165 to 180, 200 and above. Okay? So that's what an agile coach will make. So if I'm encouraging you to... Choose that part. Become a scrum master. Become release train engineer. Become um, an agile coach. I think I'm encouraging you to doing what you're supposed to do. Okay. And if I am coming to talk to you, I'm willing to sit you down and show you the process regularly. Those of you that are already following me on my channel here on Instagram, I talk about this every single day on different subjects. I'm not hiding it. I am not hiding it. I am not offering you 30% to return of investment to come with your brain to come and study. Um, um, I see somebody say, that's low. B -b -b I, I mean, we are contented with that for a, for a minute. If you have a job in America that pays you 165000 a year and above, I am grateful to God. Moving from the village, having nothing to that, I think... I can boldly say God has been faithful. That is outside my side hustle. Uh -huh. You know, as a, as a CM, how can I increase my chances of getting a job? My current contract is coming to an end soon. Of course, revamp your resume, add some more skill sets to your credentials, and then optimize your LinkedIn, re, re, repackage and rebrand yourself, and then launch yourself out there. If you have been mm -hmm. working as a Scrum Master over time, and you should be tired of making 120,000. It's time for you to scale. If I thought you are making 120,000. And you need more money. Some people will take product owner. Some will take release train engineer. Some will take SPC. And then they scale. But if you're making 120,000 or 110 as a scrum master. And you remain there. Okay now. You are stagnant. You remain there. If you are moving to the next contract. Without extra credentials on your resume. Of course, don't expect to scale. They will still put you in the same place. They will still put you in the same place. Okay, so make it a habit of growing. Invite the mindset of relentless improvement, continuous improvement. Until you invite such in the IT space. The IT space, it's, it's kind of revolves. When you have been in this space for so long, they will change it. So you, you change with the flow. So that you can stay relevant. That's the only way you can grow. But if you stay stagnant, because you don't collect 120000 for Scrum Master, and you stay there, you are going to mm. be there now. One day, they will just wake up and tell you, okay, your contract is over. So what next do you do? Someone says, what do you think about cybersecurity? Cybersecurity is good. But if you are taking cybersecurity outside Nigeria, it's not a wise thing. The reason is this. You can't expect somebody in the U.S. to hire someone in Nigeria into a cybersecurity team in the U.S. in a bad market. And if you are coming, if you are living in the U.S. currently and you want to do cybersecurity, think twice. Because a lot of cybersecurity jobs will expect you to be a citizen before they can bring you inside that space as a security. Because that space is sensitive. Use your brain. Mm. Use your brain. Networking is good. But networking is more, you know, lucrative when there is implementation, when there is a project. After the network engineers have finished implementation, they only need two or three people to stay there to trash tickets and take care of the tickets. So a lot of people will be downsized. So when they are downsized, what do you do next? So it is wise, like one of my very good friends in, in Dallas, he is a network engineer. 
he met me, I had to bring him up to speed with business analysis. So he has business analysis as a second job. So as the networking where he's just, you know, taking care of ticket, he felt like his productivity is not really showing that he's doing anything because he takes care of one ticket for almost two weeks. So he felt like before they would give him a surprise, Fred, Alpha, put me through this business analysis thing. So he got a business analyst second job to augment this one just in case they give him a surprise. So networking is good, but how do you stay relevant after implementation? If you don't get a job to stay as a maintenance engineer in your networking space, what do you do next? If you have a family, how do you cope? What of cloud computing? Cloud computing is an in thing, bro. You will be relevant for the longest time, but be ready to work. As a cloud computing engineer, you will be like a DevOps. You need to learn Jenkins. You need to learn AWS. You need to learn Azure and so many of those stuff. They are very relevant. They are very relevant. After Agile, the next area I will recommend is that cloud computing. How smart are you to be able to cope up with the cloud computing? Okay? So this, I mean, name any IT space, I will tell you something about it. It's only if you have anything to do with government and highly classified info. That's when you need to be a citizen. I did not tell you that you are not going to be hired, but a lot of companies would expect you to be citizens. A lot of private contractors who want to hire you, they will not want you inside that territory if you are not a citizen. It doesn't mean you will not be hired, but a lot of people that I have seen, they struggle to get in there. What about data engineer? My brother, data engineer is good, but I don't know why they don't pay them so high. A data engineer are those ones that are actually creating the data architecture. They do like machine learning, AI, and the rest. But for some reason, I don't know why they don't pay them above 140. I did a data analysis. I am a data analyst. The most they had offered me was 135. So after I did that for almost four years, I had to pull out. I pulled out of it to come into Agile. No, I now discover that if you don't manage people and manage processes, your money know they go up for America. Hmm. Yes. How about UI UX designer? It's good. UI UX is good, but it's going to be very useful when you are a freelancer. It's not like it's in the hot demand by so many companies. But when you are a freelancer, you will make more money. Third party risk analysis. They don't pay so much, max 100,000. So after then, how do you scale? There's no pathway to scaling. I have a lot of them in my class, risk analysis. Okay. Mm -hmm. So someone said DevOps. DevOps is great. Take a shot at it, but the six figure income is high. Well, it's high when you are by yourself. But when you become married and have three kids and wife like I do, six figure very so, 100,000 different from 165 to 180, it's different. It's different. Mm -hmm. like, the difference mm -hmm. is clear. So if you don't collect 100 over time, so what do you do next? You want something that will take you higher. Learn mm -hmm. Python, my people. I support that 100%. But after you learn the Python, where do you channel the Python to? Where mm. do you channel the Python? So this, these skill sets are what you should focus on. If you learn BA, for example, BA will give you nothing less than for a start, 80 to 100,000 a start. But that BA, before they will increase your money past 130, you would struggle. You hardly don't see that increase. You, don't, you hardly don't see that leap. I have someone that is doing business intelligence analysis. He's been doing it for over seven years. The max he has collected is 129. And I got into this space late after he's been in this space for almost three years. But now I make higher when I move to Agile. Agile pays more. That's, I mean, that's me. But some people that want it to something is good for them. Want to do something is good for them. So, but you can do two, three of those. You can do two, three of those jobs because they are the same thing. But unfortunately, I can't because I have a side hustle, which is Zip Worldwide. I combine it with my agile coach. I'm all set. So listen, guys, the, the opportunities out there are enormous. Like I said, name any IT space. I will tell you something about it. One should consider 
a place or country of residence before choosing a focus on area. Absolutely. That's why I said you can't stay in Nigeria and say you want to do cyber security. Now, bad market. Now, there you go stock. They're going to pay you their 120, 130,000. If you want to scale outside, why would somebody in Philippines or India hire you as a cyber security analyst from Nigeria? You go to fear now. Product management is so good. It's one of the hottest skill sets and career path in America. If you become a product manager, if you are as good as being a project manager, I have about almost eight or nine product manager, I mean project managers under my I mean in my project, and I'm transitioning them to product managers. It's a very good career path and they pay a lot of money, as in there is a path where you can grow very, very fast. How easy is it to become someone? who does not have a background in IT. You don't need no background in IT. I studied applied chemistry. I didn't study chem I, I did not study computer. I studied applied chemistry. My wife studied um, theater art. She's a business analyst, even though we had masters together. You don't need, I have nurses who are transitioning from nursing to the IT. All you need is the willingness to study. What if someone in Nigeria as a product manager just take some certification skill sets that will scale you outside. Those hot looking certification that will put your resume out there. Scrum is one of the framework used. Yeah, sure. So Scrum Master is accepted everywhere. They are looking for a lot of Scrum Masters. I always tell my guys, leave Scrum Master role for our women, single mothers, married, married women, so that they can take care of us while they sit at home. It's one of the easiest jobs you can think of. Is one of the easiest job you can think you can ever think of. Okay, so how a person when novice of these things to go go and read, make Google your friend. That is, free. I don't know why people don't use Google. I swear, make Google your friend. When you Google, what what type of IT certification do I have, or can I attend? After you've seen it, go to YouTube, watch a preview you will be fine. How do you charge for business and analysis? $250. It's happening. I'm, I am having one in December for 20 days. One is running. It's running up this Friday. It's been running for almost three weeks now. So this is the last week. It's running till Friday. Some people paid only $50 to be in that class. Every single person in my group, any of the people that are in my group, they attend all my certifications classes for free. If you are in any of my, whether Zip Family or COP, any certification classes that I teach, you enter for free. Yes, it's for free, but it costs you money to be in that group. But whatever class that I'm teaching, you enter for free. That is the benefit of being in Zip group. Yes, mm. you can keep learning and keep learning and keep learning. If I teach to teach SQL now, I've, I mean, I am a associate level of you know oracle sql you will enter for free if you are any of those groups if i choose to teach like tableau or i choose to teach power bi as long as you're in that group i'm not charging you for free every of the classes i teach every single week if you are in any of my groups you enter them for free but getting into that group is not free but if you are inside and if you have been there since like two three years ago I don't charge you. You are in there. You attend for free. A lot of them that are here, they can attest to it. I don't stop you. You just keep entering and keep learning until you get better. To join my group, the COP group is $2,000. Hmm. But if you are in Nigeria, you must have taken one certification with $250,000. You can join that group. If you want to be in Z family group, it's $50 a month. Over there, there is a different kind of coaching that is going on. But in that COP, it's a high level. It's focused on professionals. Okay, so it's a different ball game entirely. It's $2,000 to belong there. Okay, so there are so many opportunities I can share with you. And nobody spoke about portfolio manager. You know how many portfolio managers companies are hiring into the IT space? Nobody's asking me about release train engineer, the senior brother of Scrum Masters. These are positions that they pay you from 160 and above. You can get mm -hmm. them done. Be ready to learn. All these things that I'm mentioning, eh? It is not a child's play. It's not a child's play. 
Come with your head. Don't come and be casting and binding. Daddy Freeze. So one of my clients came in. After, I, after she joined, guess what she was up to? She wanted to convert me to um, Christ Embassy member. I'm like, I, is, this, is, this, is this what you are here for? It didn't take long when I kicked her out because she couldn't even complete the payments. The worst mistake I will make is to ask someone to be paying instrumentally. After I accepted, after a series of back, she was focused on trying to convert me to Christ Embassy member. I know they go to church. I did, my, my husband now for weekend. I you know how people say she, she won't marry you uh, so that she go pay for free. She go free, she go free get the service for free. No, well, uh, giving the services for free is my prerogative. I have to decide that, okay, this person I want to offer for free. If I look, if I talk to the person, let's say the person is an orphan now, or is a single mother that is struggling, it, I'll use my church mind to make that decision. But this one, everything was good. In now one country, they convert me. Now I tell and say, oh, mom, this thing no go work. Now I take off. Oh. Now I take off. Now, sure. you can DM me for questions. I will call you one time free consultation services. One time. After that, terms and conditions applies. <laughs> I'm like that is free. Now, the reason why I don't charge for my consultation is this. I'm not paying for an office space. This, this is my office, guys. This chair. Mm -hmm. This is my magic chair. So if I was paying for an office space, I live in I, this is my basement. This is where I do my office. So mm -hmm. my house rent, everything is already paid for. So I can't use my basement, do office. So why should I charge you for consultation? So I can talk to you for free and explore your options. Sure you understand. Now, after mm -hmm. that, don't think I'm your friend. I'm a businessman. All of you that want to come and tell me you are my brother. I'm not your brother. Daddy Free is my brother, but I have to pay for his service. Straight standard. <laughs> you don't have to pay for consultation, but it is just one time for free. The numbers you can call is right on the screen. Those numbers. Type the numbers, let me pin them. Wilf uh, Wilfred, type the numbers, let me pin them. Yes, you can definitely, definitely, I mean, reach out for those um, numbers. And you can be sure I will definitely respond to you and be of tremendous support. Um, one eight six zero six three four um eight three three six. Or mm. you can also reach out to um plus one two four zero. Five three three, one eight three three. Well, you can feel free to um WhatsApp us, and I can guarantee you you will get a call. Mm. You get it, and then we will definitely now. The call is not the call is not on social media. It's a direct call because mm. that's the only way I can filter that if it is going on. Mm -hmm. All right. That's I'm the only the way. Of the numbers. Thank you. All right, guys. That is the Plus only one way I can see that. Because there are people watching you on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, even though I'm still going to put this video there again so they can be interested, but they're not going to see what you pin. So let okay. me call out the numbers. Guys, I'm going to do this in two minutes. Please make sure you get your pens and your papers. Get your pen get your papers okay or get a spare phone where you can type down the numbers contact wilfred asukwa on plus one two four zero six three four eight three three six I'm going to take that number again. Plus one eight six zero six three four eight three three six. Did you get that number down or do I need to give it to you one more time? If you're watching on 
Instagram, you can screenshot. If you're watching on YouTube or TikTok or Facebook, you have to write down the number. There is no way I can pin it up for you. Okay? So the number is plus one eight six zero six three four eight double three six and i'm going to give you another number here's a backup number one plus one it is plus one it starts with plus one two four zero five double three one eight double three i'm going to give you the number again plus one two four zero five three three one eight three three here's the second number one more time plus one two four zero five three three one eight three three all right wilfred i'm sure they all have the number now please go ahead thank you so very much and like i'm um, like he rightly said you can just dm me or dm any of the numbers and you can be sure you will receive a call and we explore your options again safe scrub master is free on the 31st and november 1st it's a free class but if you choose to pay for it then you get the certification but the class is two days it's 16 hours it starts at about 9 a.m to 5 p.m um eastern time zone so you can convert that to wherever you are um somebody's asking me about the business analysis class it's 250 dollars if you check my website, you will see the link. You, you can make the payment. It's coming up in December again. The current one is running up um, this Friday. So, and if you're inside any of my groups, it is free for you. But if you're coming from outside, it's $250. So make um, use of those opportunities. And mm -hmm. in my classes, I also go as far as teaching you how to optimize your resume and how to optimize your LinkedIn to create visibility. So I have to walk you through. What is the website? www.zitworldwide.com. Now, um, if you are coming with a mindset of magic to happen, please don't come. Mm. Don't. If you are coming to tell me, Fred, which one should I do? I will I will send you back to go and make your research. You mm. are adult. I expect you to come to me with an understanding of what you want. I expect mm. you to come to me with knowing what exactly you want to do. If you come and say, Wilfred, I want to do cybersecurity because I love the, I mean that space, I'll be able to advise you. But if you want to come and tell me, or you are coming to tell me, well, friend, uh, I've been thinking of doing IT. Where should I start? Listen, you've only ended up making yourself vulnerable to me. So what you are telling me is that I should market what I am teaching to you. Unfortunately, I can't do that. The training I have as a coach does not permit me to do that. So it's mm. like I'm taking advantage of you. I'm taking advantage of your vulnerability and that's not something that I do. So a lot of you will come to me and I will send you back to go and do your research. Make Google your best friend. When you know what you want, then you can come to me. I say, well, friend, I, I have heard so much about Agile. I've been considering doing this or that. Or I've been hearing so much about business analysis and I'm considering doing it. What are your thoughts? Then we will discuss. I will know you know what you want. But if you are coming to ask me, so you are asking me to come and discuss all what I've been discussing with Daddy Freeze with you on your own. How much have you paid for my time? Absolutely. So I don't think I have time to entertain such questions. So if you are coming to me, I don't mean to be rude. Mine is to get you empowered. Mine is to get your mind informed. Mine is to get you 
deeper understanding what you are looking out for. But if you are coming to me and all you can do is to come and put me on the spot and expect me to be explaining and explaining, I can't babysit you. You know why? When you make your six figures, you won't call me. So from the get-go, you need to understand what you want. And when you understand exactly what I want or what you want, it makes it easier. Absolutely. It makes it easier. Then we can relate as professionals. Okay? We can relate as professionals. So if you know you are not coming with your brain cells, please don't come to Z. You will look at me to be very rude. I don't babysit people here at Z. Okay? When I'm reaching out to Daddy Freeze, I don't go and ask Daddy Freeze, Daddy Freeze, how am I going to talk on your channel? No! I tell Daddy Freeze, mm. I need to come on your channel. These are the days I have. Daddy Freeze will check and say, ah, friend, this day is taken, or that day is taken. And then, okay, this day is available. Boom! I take. That's how an adult should behave. Hmm. You are an adult. If you know what you want, you have children, you have spouse to take care of, you have bills to pay. Do your research. Make Google your friend. Go to YouTube. Check what you are looking for. Haven't you seen that he freeze? Whenever he's preaching or teaching, you say, let's Google and see. Hey, Wilfred. That's how a person should be doing. He will tell you, let's Google. Let's see what this scripture is saying. You will go to Google and, and pull it out. He hmm. makes Google his friend. But we, no, we don't want to make Google our friend. We want to make somebody to lot over us. Don't do that. Do yourself hmm. that great favor. Do yourself that little favor of making a research about what you want before you go and ask somebody. Hmm. Yes. Now, um, I want to bring in a few people who might want to ask some questions. Okay. Guys, it, someone said Google no go school. You see, let me tell you, yeah, Google might not be, might not be the ultimate in information, but if you know how to use it, you see, Someone who knows how to drive a downfall is better than someone who does not know how to drive a Ferrari. That's true. When you get into a Ferrari, you don't know what to do inside. Trust me. Because there's no gear. It's a paddle on the right hand that you tap that puts you in gear one. If you don't know, you will not know. Mm. If you walk into an aeroplane, the engine is running. They've started the engine. You will not know what to do. You don't even know where to check the fuel. Hmm. But you see, what Google does is, Google can refer you to trustworthy sites. For instance, you, 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 you're searching how many people are in the UK. And then Google takes you to bbc.com. You know BBC is a trustworthy site. So when so, you're using Google, you, know, you, you, you should know how to search for it. You see, let me tell you something. Rich people and poor people are separated by a few things. One is the ability to utilize, to itemize to process and to assimilate information correct that's one thing that separates a rich man from a poor man information how do i utilize it how do i assimilate it how do i itemize it how do i put this information together to benefit myself. Information mm. is one of the first things. The reason why you are poor is because there is a there is a sea between you and information and you are not ready yeah. to climb the bridge or swim across it. Mm -hmm. 
Number two is the inability to see the big picture. Poor people can never see the big A poor man sees his nose. A poor man cannot see beyond his nose. You see, separating the poor from the rich is not necessarily bank account. Is information being able to see a big picture? Poor people always want the here and now. Mm. Give me what I can eat, and they remain poor. I have seen people who have nothing in their bank account, but will meet me and want to render me a service or give me a favor, so that they can get close enough to me. To have certain conversations. You come into my DM, Daddy Freeze, my leg is paining me block. I'm not even gonna read it. But someone who has followed me in the free nation, who has interacted with me back and forth over a year, calls me one day and says he can't pay his rent. The conversation I and that person would have, or that person that I would have, is totally different from the conversation you and I will have when all you do from day one, you're asking for favors already. Another thing that separates the poor from the rich is that inability to sell shit. I'm sorry I'm using that word. Mm. Apple, go and look at iPhone 14 and iPhone 13 and tell me what the difference is. <laughs> but we're all on the queue to buy iPhone 14. Mm -hmm. and, iPhone 13, and we will buy iPhone 15. This is Samsung Galaxy Z4. I had Z3. As soon as Z4 came out, I upgraded to Z4. You should be able to understand how to sell a product even if people are not willing to buy it. It's a skill. It's what rich people do. That's why Apple is rich. That's why Samsung is rich. Right. That's why Honda and Toyota are rich. That's why Mercedes Benz is rich. You are driving the 20, I have a 2022 Mercedes Benz. By next year, it will no longer be on their website for configuration. You, what they are telling you is your car is old. Come and get a new one. They will put some features in the newest one that you want to have. So hmm. when you walk with people like Wilfred, they open your eyes to the things around you. These things are not created by Wilfred. These things are not put there by Wilfred. Wilfred just helps you train your eye to see it. You and an FBI forensic investigator enter the same room. You'll be seeing two different things. As he's entering, you see that door was, there's a crack on the door. Why? Could have been forceful entry. You just enter the, hey, Jesus. What happened here? Jesus. The trained FBI agent enters the room, sees a crack on the door, sees a fingerprint on the wall, and will tell you that there was a scuffle in this room. His eye will go to that stain on the rug and tell you that this looks like blood. Give me a sample of that. While you are calling Jesus, 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 someone who has knowledge, who has data, who has information, who can utilize these things will always be your Lord and Master. Correct. Will always be your Lord and Master. We're talking about spiritual husbands the other day. Mm. I read I your... Know, you I was like that. I was laughing. We're talking about spiritual husbands. Mm. Now, so two women called me and said that one Muslim, different Muslim clerics read the Quran for them and those things left them. As I'm talking to you now, I have 50 born-again Christians in my DM looking for Muslim Afar to come and deliver. <laughs> I pasted some of them. I, I saw it. That is really look, I said, you go me. to imaginary fire altar and uh, what God cannot do. They said they went and they are tired. Though. It does not work. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They are right now, they are looking for Afar. You see, it, to me, it's comedy because all of a sudden now, whatever seems like it's working, you run to because you are desperate. Don't get desperate. When you are filled with information, you, you lack desperation. I was sitting down with taste buds right here in this room. 
we bought uh, Ethereum at one five, one thousand five hundred dollars. We bought one Ethereum each. We sold at one eight. I told her sell. We sold at one eight. So we made three hundred dollars each on the Ethereum. Then we bought. I was telling her that I'm waiting to get for it to get to one three. It has been going for over a month, back and forth. No reach that one three. Mm. When it was on one four fifty, Tesla said, "I can't wait again." You know what? Buy. So I bought one for her. Me, just like nobody says she did alone. I buy half of Ethereum for myself. When it dropped to one three, I now bought one whole. Mm. You understand? Because I have information. And I was watching the candles and the graphs. I knew it was going to get to one three. I just knew that it would take a bit of time. Right. Information removes desperation. Write it down. Information destroys desperation. When you have information, you, you have right. You, you, you no longer are desperate because now you know. When we bring people like Wilfred here. In as much as Wilfred pays to be on my channel, he adds value to my channel. Because when you come to my channel, you don't just see a bunch of non-entities talking all day and gossiping about celebrities who wear pants, who no wear pants, who get spiritual husband, who no get spiritual husband. Inside all that, there is some value. There is a value system I have created for you through people like Wilfred. You have the opportunity to look at yourself. There's some money lying in your, in, in your bank account. Are you not worried about what you will do as you're getting older? Are you not thinking of transitioning into a more home-based system? System. Whereby you don't have to go out to earn a living. I don't know if you speak Yoruba, Wilfred. Mm-hmm. There is a slogan in Yoruba for people that sit at home and work. It's called Bele Pawo. It's another name for Oloshu. Oloshu. Like a woman that has no job, she stays at home and she makes mm -hmm. money. Meaning men, they come, mm -hmm. give them. That's As right. A single friend like this, like Bele Pawo. <laughs> you know they go anywhere. No, I don't. And the house where you go day. This you is money where you the enter boss go office no female. Mm -hmm. mm. Step B. When I was, that is really, I was really, thank you so much. I was reading some comments and there's a young man MC Iboro Iboro or something. Listen Iboro, if you are coming to pay for my service, I don't do resume for people. I don't. As a coach, I'm supposed to help you be self-reliance self-dependence i will walk you through step by step you need to do it yourself Absolutely. to apply for a typical job you need to tailor your resume to suit in that job i am not the one to do it for you my goal is or my responsibility is to empower you you do it yourself when you talk about referee that shouldn't be something you focus on focus on how to master your resume and facing your recruiters or your hiring managers, not Wilfred. My job as a coach is to coach you on how to do in these things. You don't need Godfather. You do not need Godfather to succeed. What you need is information. Information that that the Freeze just explained. You don't need Godfather. You need information Optimize your LinkedIn, optimize your resume, increase your capacity by loading your resume with what? Skill sets, and you'll be fine. Hmm. But if you sit down, hey, we don't have one Godfather. You don't have somebody to come and help us. For God's sake. That's why I always use that refuse as an example. Have you heard him talk about Godfather before? His parents are Godfather. He doesn't even use them. His parents are not even in entertainment industry. He do his thing. Haven't you seen his pictures when he was younger as a broadcaster? He walked his way up. But we don't want to do that. Why? If, if you want to go by, okay, Dali Free, seriously, if you want to go by who know who, 
I'm not supposed to be here. Because my village know they map to you today. Light and water is not in my village. The, the water in my village is stream. That's what they drink from. My streets in my villages are sand, as in sand, 98 day old. So if you want to say who know who, who I know to come and say he wants to come and put me where I'm sitting down here. There are resources online you can use. Mm. Gain the information, gain knowledge, transform your mind, increase the capacity. See, when you increase that sense, village sense, I call it village sense, you will do all right. But when you sit down and think manna will fall from heaven, I, I am afraid you are not going to go anywhere. That is free. You said you, you, you wanted to bring some people up. Yes, let me bring a few people up. Yeah, so we can have, that. let me bring three people up. Yeah, so, sure. who wants to go first? Who wants to go first? Please, serious people only. I don't want to bring you on and there's a back light, uh, there's a black light in your background. Please, 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 please. Bring me sound God. Send me a request. Mm. Send me a request. And please, it's only about this topic. If you're not on this topic, I'm going to move you out. A lot of people need to actually understand what you are gaining today. People also confuse people who keep it real for rudeness. Let because me tell you. We 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 do back in Nigeria, sir. I mean, everybody they, they they want to twist things. They want to twist it. When it's black, they say no, it's dark. Uh, <laughs> so when they see you, you call him black, black. You are rude, you know. So I have gotten used to that already. And... Send a request if mm. you want to be in the live. Yes. Instagram, send me a request. You are typing. Invite me, invite me, invite me. I'm not going to call. I can't invite you directly unless you send a request. Yes, you have to send a request. So, guys, again, um, it, it, the, the services we offer at Zid is, is, in fact, is capacity building. If you know, if you know you are not ready to work, don't come. I'm not being rude or disrespectful. It is meant for people who are ready to put in the work. When would you go live about music industry, the politics and diabolic side of it? <laughs> go and pay that fees and come and talk about it. I'm a scrum master as well as just finished my program. Hello, Daddy Face. Yes, hi. How are you doing? I'm fine. Uh, my name is Frank Amieno. All right, Frank. How are you? Go ahead. I'm okay. Um, um... Uh, Rufred, I, I want to ask you. I'm a I'm a radiologist. I've I've tried to go, I've tried to go into IT because of the time I used to spend in the hospital. I don't I don't have that time. So how can I join? Because I know what I want. I what I want in IT. I just want to build out uh, all this um, uh, radiology software in IT. But how can I meet personally with you so that we can figure out how to negotiate with the time? The time is just my own problem. Hello? Thank you so very much. I, I can hear you. Um, what I tell people is this. You can't eat your cake and have it. Yeah. You have to sacrifice something for something. Meeting me doesn't cost you anything, especially for the first time. Just reach out. Sacrifice the time and let's balance things. And like I always said, I used to work 110 hours a week. And during, during that whole drama and crazy hours, I still did several certifications to transition from working minimum wage to corporate world. When you need something that is valuable to you, even that the fees that is sitting down here, you know what time it is in Nigeria, but it's always here. He has sacrificed yep. his sleep to keep up this channel. So time shouldn't be a problem. It shouldn't be a constraint. What you should be more concerned is, when do I get Fred to chat with me so that we can agree? And when it comes to that, I am very efficient. I am very efficient. Okay. So all you need is send me a DM. 
will agree on time. I send you Zoom link if needs be, or I will just call you. I don't, if it's not on Zoom, it is definitely going to be a direct call from me, and then we'll talk, and then we'll move forward. I have a radiologist, two radiologists that are my clients right now. One oh. of them, her name is Buku, Bukola. Yes, I'm calling okay. her name. Yes, th this week she has done two interviews. She too wants to tra transition. So a lot of people want to okay. transition. Your goal is to build the software. That's fine. We can just get some guidance. You might not take my certifications on my class, but I'll give you a guidance for a one-time call for free. And that's fine. And that can help you to scale. All right. Thank you very yeah. much. I appreciate that. No. All right. I'll yeah. give you a call. I, I, I've taken yeah. down your number. I'll call you yeah. tomorrow. Just, All right. Just Thank you. Send me a message. Then I'll, you will, then I'll respond. Then we'll chat. Then we'll just take it off from there. All right. No problem. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> Lat, I used to work 110 hours. I've worked as a CNA. I've worked as a group home oh. director. Really? Worker. Yes. No, we America. We work home. Of course, of course. Yeah. <laughs> of course. So, I, like you can see that I'm, I'm working, I'm at work by day. So, so that's, that, that's just the nature of the job. But I do home visits for, you know, with this COVID stuff. I will yeah. need to we need to take people at home. We don't go. They don't take them to the hospital no more. So that's yeah. what I usually do. My so I'll work, give you. A call. The public place was with home care. I worked with yeah. Hartford Health, the biggest healthcare company in Connecticut, and I served their home care arm of business for almost four years. When you, when really? you talk about, um, of course, when, when you talk about home care. Um, uh, what do you call it? Admitting, discharging, all the processes yep. of home care in Connecticut. I will tell you so much about it. They are billing all that. I managed their data for four years. Yes. Wow. I moved from that Kurofo work I used to work, that minimum wage work, to becoming a business and data analyst for four years with Hartford Healthcare, the biggest healthcare company in Connecticut. Say anything about mm -hmm. it, I will tell you. From intake, start okay. of care, all of them. I'll tell you about them. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> all right, no problem. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I have to tell All right. <laughs> Take care, bro. We've got one Thank more person here. Yeah. Hi. Um, hi. Good evening. Sorry. Sorry. Hi. Good evening. Thank you for adding me. Actually, this is my first time doing a request and joining a live. I never do this ever for any reason whatsoever. But I wanted to jump on the bandwagon of, um, sorry, the man in the hat, not that the phrase, the other one, I don't, sorry, I don't know your name. I um, I live in the UK, and I just wanted to jump on what you said in regards to, you know, scaling um, from one career to another career. I work in healthcare, and for some reason, okay, I tell people this, I am amazing at my job. I am, like, I am brilliant at what I do, but... I do not like my job. Don't get it wrong. I know what I'm doing. I know how to do it. I'm amazing at it, but that doesn't mean I like it. There's a difference in knowing what, to, what you're doing and loving what you're doing. And um, I said to people, I said, changing your career is not very hard. And I, and because I have kids and I told my kids, my boys, I said, there are specific careers you're going to do in this UK that would make you excel. Let's just basically say in this world. And those careers, they are not, they are very simple. You're either in IT, construction, engineering, or healthcare. And if you're in healthcare, you better be a surgeon or, or biochemist or whatever. If it is nursing and anything else, don't even bother. Let's not even have this conversation at all. And this is why I tell my kids. Mm -hmm. And when I say that, some parents were like, how can you give them those choices? I was like, because I have friends that are business um, consultants. That, that, um, I have a friend that has a master's in marketing and doesn't have a job. She was getting a twenty three thousand pounds per annum job, something that someone in healthcare gets. So, lucky for me, my son went into software engineer and um, software programming, which I was really happy for that. The first one, the second one was to do um, banking and whatever. And I said, I'm good, I'm happy with that. So now, when it now come, when it came to me, I decided that from healthcare, I wanted to switch to you know it so i tried my hand at um software testing it wasn't for me i left and i went back to go and do my research in regards to um what's a, what part of it do i want to do so i realized that there were so many branches to it there's software testing there's programming there's um delivery manager scrum master all different kinds 
um, data analysis and all that. And I did my research. But what I found is with people is even when you do give them advice and bear in mind, I didn't have any help. I basically used the internet. I live on YouTube to study and learn what I need to do. I use YouTube for research. Funny enough, I even use TikTok for research, funny enough, which you wouldn't believe. And because I use these things for research, I'm able to, you know, gather information. And this is the thing with UK. Let me just say, I don't know about America, but with UK, there is information online if you want it. If you mm. want it, it is there to access. And they are not extremely expensive. They are on it. They are, they are, they are very, like, I'm not going to say they're extremely cheap, but they are very affordable. All you need to do is be willing. And, but then, when you said you do not help people with CV and all those things, I completely understand, like, you don't offer that as part of your services. No, 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 please. I completely don't. No, no, please. Oh, sorry, do you? Or do you? Okay. I offer that, but why will I use my hand to build your resume when I can show you how to do it and I give you the template? Okay, you show people you don't offer. Okay, yes. that's, that's, that's understandable. You don't, you shouldn't build your CV for them, yes. And the reason is this. So let me explain that. The reason is this. When you are applying for a job, you must tailor your resume to suiting that job. Definitely. I don't walk you through how you do it. When you are going to apply for the job, am I the one to do it? Definitely, of course. So, yes, so, you're not going to do the same for them. Yes. <laughs> so definitely. And also, when you are applying, you need to save that resume so that when they call you, you just go back, set your um, save box, and pull it out. So yeah. I rather empower you, give you the template, you're doing it. And that's why I give it flexible. After you fix the rest, you come back, we sit down, we brainstorm on it. Let it make sense. Because when you are pushing your resume out and the resume is everywhere, your job transition to getting to where you are is not aligning. Nobody yeah. I can't, I can't, Yes, completely understand. I've been on yeah. um, an interview panel before, so I completely understand where you're coming from. Um, right. Being on an interview panel, we usually have the person's resume in front of us. Our right. questions, we have questions that we ask. Questions are usually tailored to what their experiences are on the CV, and right. questions are usually tailored to what our company wants from them as well. So yeah. I completely understand where you're coming from. because A company might not call you for an interview or will not even notice your resume because of what is called ATS, Application Tracking Device. I mean, at Application Tracking System. Sorry about that. ATS. So if you don't tailor your resume to suiting that particular job, the ATS is not going to pick on those keywords to pull your... That, yeah, keywords, yes. And those now, ones, yes. the recruiter don't have patience to run through too many resumes. And you, there is a way you need to tailor your resume at a glance. Let's call this guy. So that's what I focus on doing. For me to say, I want to sit down and be doing resume. How many people I want to do resume for? The woman that... Uh, like, you're like, not wrong. Now, nah, $350 I pay you. 2013. That resume has been catching fire for a lot of people. So I focus on sitting you down, and that's why I said one on one, it's always better because every single person's resume would, uh, you know. Recently, one young man, I gave him that template. You know what he did? He went to plagiarize my whole resume and put it on his own, and now put his name on top. And what? What? Why are people like this? I yeah, this I mean, is it's, it's, seriously. So mine is, I I don't do things for you. I'm a coach. In fact, the person that trained me will get mad knowing that I'm even at work. The goal is you must make your team self-organizing as a scrum team. The scrum team, or they call it agile team, they are self-organizing. Yes, the agile team. Yes. As an agile coach, I'm supposed to make you self-organizing. You self-reliant. So if I have yeah. to for you, that means I'm telling you to be coming back to me every single time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Two hourly, that means I'll be sucking money from your hands. Mm. Do, do, yeah, I completely, I completely understand. I right. completely, you're, you're not wrong because I'm, I'm not a coach or anything, but I do have a forefront experience basically because I decided to upscale and I decided to change. Like, for example, I got a new job recently 
and I find that it's 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 my dream job, but I don't like the job. Like I don't want to do it. Yeah, and I'm one of those people that I can start a job today if I don't like it. I already have resignation letter in my email that I will just change the names and I'll say I'm done. And I'll just tell you that I'm going to Africa for the next five years because I'm not. You know, I have like emergency family problems. I I I do not stay in a job I do not like. And so when um when I upskilled as well, and I I upskilled simply by what I did, I did most things myself because um with UK sometimes when they charge you for these courses and these coaches, I don't have anything against their prices. Everybody is allowed to set whatever price they feel like they need to set because everybody's value is different. It's like me telling Balenciaga why they why are they selling their their um, trainers or their boots for like one thousand, where um you know Primark is selling theirs for like ten pounds or twenty pounds. Everybody everybody is entitled to you know price yourself as much as I want but then you have to understand that sometimes not everybody can afford it and because I couldn't afford to pay the exorbitant amount of prices they were charging I decided to do my own research myself teach myself and get a job in what I wanted to do myself so my choices were I wanted to work from home I didn't want to work I didn't want to go to work I just didn't feel like going to go and work in an office because I felt like I don't have the energy to be playing friends with Oyibo people, no offense. It's just I do not have the energy to it. I do not have the energy to come in every morning and start smiling and be joking with all of you and you know trying to understand you know everybody's personal lives. I can't do it. No, it's just it just doesn't go well with my personality. I so I decided to find a job. But we're running out of time, and we need to bring somebody else live. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, that's but, fine. I just uh, wanted to tell people that you can always do research online. Like there, there is a vast majority like. Um, what network for you to do research online even if you don't know what to do there is always online is always very good place to start Thank youtube you so is very, very good I, I really like that validation because it goes to show that i mean what that is explained and what i said thank you so very much i really appreciate your time god bless you all right. thank you very much yes all right my darling sister with the gold and um, the goddess tell us what your question <laughs> Hi, the difference. Hi, everyone. Good day. Um, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, you're the last caller. Yeah. So I just want to quickly appreciate you for bringing in Pride on Fire on your platform today. Um, it's really been a wonderful time. Um, actually, um, I just called in just to give him a bit of a nudge for what is brought on the platform you know um like i'm in the uk and there's a whole lot of people back in nigeria that kind of like asking oh you know you should help me come to uk and all of that but you know such a program such a fantastic program um i think they will find it very very useful and um i for one i'm gonna be sharing um this program and dishing out its number as well um giving you know the information for people to actually see if they can find it useful for them because instead of uh relying on vacating nigeria and coming to the uk and um probably going on yeah we are or whatsoever finding some kind of um flimsy excuses to be doing illegal th illegal things you know, and also thank you very much, Fred, because I've been thinking about, or oh, you know, you mentioned something like coding and all of that. You know, you actually encouraged me because I've got a 15 year old daughter and I've got a six year old. And I think, um, I don't know, maybe my, I don't know what age, um, do you have like an age bracket to start with the program? Kind of, um, I think, thank you so much, actually. Currently, the the youngest I have right now is 16, and it's in my mentorship group, the Zid family uh, house. The parents paid for him. No, I think I have actually two of those. So it all depends on which subject we are looking out for. If you bring your child on board, as long as he or she is ready to follow through accountability, awesome. If not, then you have to wait yeah. until it grows up. Yeah. Right, because she, she's still in um, high school, we're in the UK. She's still in high school in S4 right now. Okay. And she's looking into going into dentistry. Okay. Um, so do you think maybe something like uh, something like maybe when she's like 16, I can maybe like yes. 
that's um, great because then she will better understand and articulate what it means um uh, taking responsibilities for um her goals in life for example if 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 i'm going to coach an individual i, I will request short and long term goals because mm -hmm. the thing you need is you need a goal a lot of people don't have mm -hmm. they are like a shaft in the ocean being tossed around by the waves you need goals you need mm -hmm. values so if i'm talking mm -hmm. to an adult of course the adult will understand what it means to have a goal but if you talk to a child even though you break it down very low you'll be kind of a little bit lost but perhaps mm -hmm. you may have trained your child very well she's not going to be lost so 16 17 mm -hmm. is still good yeah right because she she's really bent on um you know something in the medical line anyway like it doesn't matter yeah just uh, at some point she was contemplating on being a, like a neurosurgeon but i think right now she's really sure about she's even thinking about shadowing you know and all of that and um she's she 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 she, she got her head screwed on you know <laughs> and um so yeah thank you very much um probably like next year i like sorry alone. leave her alone right yours is okay. just divine guidance okay at some point right. you will figure that out there's something called mm -hmm. the subconscious mind it's 95 mm -hmm. percent of your whole entire mind it stores it. Mm -hmm. Yours is to keep feeding that part of the mind. Mm -hmm. Mission. At some point, it will click. Don't right. stop, but don't try to force it. That is right. neurosurgeon. They are awesome career part. I need a neurosurgeon mm -hmm. having a mental problem. You, you, know, you know what I mean? So let <laughs> <I do. laughs> don't try to force it. Allow her. At some point, yeah. constant counseling and advice. She might figure out mm -hmm. what you're talking about. So that's what I would. Yeah, ask. she, um, she, she, uh, she, she always made her own choice. Um, you know, to to remain in the, in the medical line anyway. And um, she was just uh, thinking she could she go into like neurosurgeon, but now, I think she she's actually fixed on being becoming a dentist. Mm. You no. know, because of the timing and then. Um, just so. Hand. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So, anyways, you've really encouraged me, and I'm gonna start immediately yes, just love it, coding, yes. coding program for my six years old. Yeah, I'm okay. really gonna start doing that. Thank you very much. Thank yeah. you very much, Dad. Sir, take care. We've got another guy here. Uh, Hi now. I know, guy. Bless you, my sister. Um, right now. Let's hear from the guy. Yeah. yeah. Hi, Daddy Freeze. Well. Uh, Hi. Thank you. I, I really appreciate this platform. Like, it's really helpful. And I must say that you're the realest person. I've never seen someone that has this kind of platform that, that goes, like, all around. Lifestyle, business, career, coaching, everything around. So I appreciate you. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. uh, Wilfred, it's, uh, I appreciate you as well. Um, the questions I wanted to ask, right? Mm -hmm. For the course on uh, next week, for October 31st to, and 1st of November, Mm -hmm. Is it like so? That's like a one-off, free two-day course, right? Yes. Um. So ideally, it's a sixteen-hours course. It's like a paid class. So okay. after that class, I have another one that is paid. So take for example, you attended the class. It's right. free. It's the okay. same. I used to teach the paid class. It's the same energy I will use to teach that. The only okay. thing is that you won't get the certification or you won't get the certificate to write the exams or something but let's say you choose to pay for it and you still want to attend the one that is paid the following week you can i mean i allow you because that one that is free i can tell you i will have almost 200 people that will attend so if you if you love it you feel it yeah the paid one is for how much oh how much six hundred dollars yes please. for the same 16 hours it's the same 16 hours Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, as so, um, from from your own understanding of the whole scrum master thing, as a layman, what are the expectations? What are what 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 are we to expect uh, in the in the course from the first minute to the end? What are what are the expectations? Like, you know, of course, as an agile person. Yes. Thank you so very much. So, uh, that's a very um, smart question. So, I already understand my audience. My audience. 
they didn't teach us this thing from Africa. We know no one. Right. So, True. Yeah. <laughs> we know no one. And trust me, me as a village boy, when I come here, mm. when I was doing a lot of my trainings, I got them from Indians. To be candid with you, I did not understand. Right. So I had to spend more time to study, watch YouTubes. I literally had to put on a kitty mine. And you, you know when you go to school for <laughs> time, you, just, you, right. open, you know what time it is. Right. So right. because I now understand that, I had to create an intro slide separately. Okay. So that when you're coming to the class, the first few slides, the ten, first 10 slides is Nami Kritam. Okay. So okay. Give a background where you're coming from. Those of right. you that led my class, just confirm what I am saying. So it will bring you from where we are coming from to mm -hmm. our current state. So I give you an overview. That's why I'm more of a coach than a trainer. Right. Okay, okay. Yes. So I have to coach your mind and get you set up for the real class. So as I'm taking you to the real class, for example, safe. Safe is that aspect of agile that is meant for enterprise. When you hear enterprise, like government, government is a huge entity. Right. It's meant to serve huge organization. Right. Not small, 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 small organization. Right. If you if you are focused on working with small, small, small organization and team, go and do Scrum Alliance. Okay. But if you want to work both in small organization and larger enterprise yeah. or larger enterprises and government projects, then safe is good. Okay. So, and the way they introduce safe, I must be honest with you, they, they want to teach you so that you can come back. Right. But for me, I don't do that. So what I do, that's a big picture here. Eh? Probably will spend another one hour plus to break it down line right. by line. Right, right. Well, that is why when you come to my class, you get stuck. Okay. You as in you will be glued till I finish. Okay. You so, want to for another one and for because I don't just teach, I coach. Okay, so what what, what you're saying now with the with the with the free class, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean free having free free time is still spending is still yeah. is still value for yeah. for any. Mm -hmm. So is it is it is the sixteen hours going to need need someone to come back and pay for any other private class with you? Okay, good. That's so no I, after that class, after you finish yeah. sixteen hours, to be mm. is not enough to get you a scrum master job. Right, right. It's just it's like holistic introducing you into a space. Okay, now. There are other tools you need to learn. Right. Tools like Jira. Okay. Trello. Do all those ones, you can go to Udemy or YouTube. You will right. learn to get okay. your feet. Okay. okay. Now, okay. as a black man, as you see me here, so, mm -hmm. the more what a white man will bring to the table, mm. you have to bring four times before they will look at you. Now, you see this space of IT. Mm -hmm. There is no space for um, entry level for a black person like you and I. Right. The intro level, now for their children, then. Right, right. So, between you and I, you, you will got package yourself, say you don't need this game things. Like, I feel you, yeah. Are I there? Feel... Yeah. No, everything. Person I see, now you go feel talking for you. No. Okay, so. That pay class, that pay class is going to involve all them Jira, Confluence, and all of that. You can't because those are no, different, but, different applications on their own. Okay, okay. But so I will I, mention them. I'm not talking about to show you things. That, for example, Jira. I will use right. Jira to show you how to manage your user stories. Right. Play around them as a scrum master. But okay. I can't teach you that. It, it, that's a whole thing on its own. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Before, before Daddy Freeze will pursue me from this uh, like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me ask the final. Like, so say um on LinkedIn, I understand that uh, say you know, optimizing optimizing like your LinkedIn profiles, right, mm. and also resume. Um, if you have, um, I know that you said you could assist with you know helping someone to like build, uh, resumes like like show them how to show them how to yeah yeah show them how to I show so, you how to do it. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so say you have resume of, you know, different companies and then you're trying to like uh leverage those companies and maybe we write some so we write some um uh, some um maybe job descriptions that relates to Scrum Master. Is that is that part of you showing showing us how to do all of that? Well, you need one resume only. Okay. With that one resume, I have to show you the tricks inside. You okay. get when you know if you touch when you are tweaking it to suit in the job. Right, right. If you touch them, you put yourself in trouble. Okay. Yes. Okay. For example, I will be specific. When you put your job title and the company you've worked for, you mm -hmm. can't be it. Right, right. Okay. They will be changing to suiting the job description so that the algorithm, which is the ATS, will pick yeah. them up. Is the job summary and the job descriptions. Okay, so finally, optimizing LinkedIn, right? Uh -huh. If you're transforming, say, let me let me give an example. You're a customer service person, mm -hmm. right? Have interest in, in the whole uh, your IT Scrum Master thing. Mm -hmm. uh, optimizing your your LinkedIn is it going to have you revamp the whole LinkedIn? Bro, or... Yeah, I have to revamp it because now. because no, after, it's not after, the now. That, that is really, Let you ask. They are very important questions, actually. <laughs> So after you've revamped, if you don't answer course, everything, what thing one can learn for the course? No, this one is not the course. Is, no, not the course. One thing is to answer. Another thing is to do. <laughs> I talk. I talk about it for free on this same channel, on my channel, every time. So when you have revamped and optimized your resume, right, you need to replicate the content on your LinkedIn because they must aligned. Okay. Okay. Now when it aligns. There are other tricks that you put on that LinkedIn so that you have a good problem. Okay. Put as reaching out to you. Okay. Now okay. there are other job portals too that you will put those resumes inside. Right. Okay. And you align them as well. Okay. okay. However, when you finish, as a coach, we need to create jobs when you go talk about when they ask you tell us about your previous projects that you did. Yeah. yeah. As a coach, so Nami go fit create them for you. Okay. 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 <laughs> So you see why I have to pay for my time? Yeah, I... <laughs> now, what you make me coach be that? Name any industry who will create that thing to suit that resume for you. Now, packaging, now, you don't understand? Okay, okay. Now, here yeah, I learn them. No, before I bring them from my village. <laughs> uh, now, here yeah, I learn them. Okay. Now, then teach me. Because Thank if you say, if you say, <laughs> now people won't get experience. Yeah, yeah. As we self get experience, so you don't understand? Mm -hmm. We know they find work. Mm hmm. They will quickly catch you because if you call me for an interview, three weeks I don't get a new job. If I want change job, two, three weeks I don't change up. I feel it, yeah. But the people when need the job, now people like you when just they start. So we got to cut enough soap into your head. Mm -hmm. So you have to package them so that you will just try. They go. Okay, okay. Yeah. I appreciate, I appreciate. Yeah. No problem. I will link up next week. No problem. Okay. No problem. That was a very good question. You, the, this man no waiting to find. See, I think no waiting to find. I like him. <laughs> <laughs> I like him. Thank you. Thank Correct. you. Thank I you. like him. <laughs> that right. was a very smart question you asked. <laughs> right. Yes, that was quite impressive. Impressive. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. God impressive. bless you. Bro. Don't mind me. I was just harassing you. I was just joking. Uh, Big shout out to everyone who came through today. Um, the numbers are pinned right there. Uh, plus one eight six zero six three four eight double three six and plus one two four zero five double three one eight double three. That's my brother right there, Wilfred Thank you. for Thank you. Pilot, scientist, scrum master, and only you 26. My brother, boy. <laughs> that's the only way you can face this system. Mo. That's the if only way. Boy, can do it. I've given it up to him. It's, it's wonderful. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. If a village boy can do it, you and your papa get money where they live for town. What's your excuse? <laughs> if a village boy can do it, you and your papa get money where they live for town. What's your excuse? <laughs> you know that's my after gentlemen. That's as far as I can go. Yes. Thank yeah. you all so much. I did yeah. give you the numbers. Or you can also send him a DM, Wilfred Asukwo. His Instagram handle is Wilfred underscore Asukwo. Wilfred is spelled W-I-L-F-R-E-D 
underscore A-S-U-Q-U-O. Wilfred underscore Asukwa. Wilfred underscore Asukwa. Wilfred underscore Asukwa. W-I-L-F-R-E-D underscore A-S-U-Q-U-O. Send him that DM now. Call him now. WhatsApp him now. Let the trajectory of your destiny that is pointing to the ground start that, looking towards the sky. So that trees. <laughs> yes, boy. Uh, is a great marketer. Uh, uh, it's a great marketer. Uh, <laughs> uh, Bye, everyone. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Bye now. Thank you.